hope there is sound now. Okay. I hope there is sound. I wanted to make a quick video on Bitcoin because of the dump yesterday. So what happened? Um, in my last video I actually have taken a really small scope uh, we I think we went there or we went uh, 22500 and I have taken the profit and just left it uh, left it to watch I didn't place a short because I was not sure if we're going to go up or down and actually we started rejecting here no uh, sorry it, it was here so I, I have taken uh, some profit at 22100 uh, and just um, left it to watch and I didn't expect such a huge dump it was amazing dump this was some, kin some kind of a flag pattern at <coughs> one arm consolidation and then the, the other half of the flag uh, I want to to see what is happening first on the weekly I was warning about the weekly and uh, that was the reason I uh, actually was very cautious uh, for Bitcoin going long and I know th there will be a small pump and then I have taken uh, everything and closed it I hope you didn't uh, stay long and covered it uh, because from the weekly in my previous video I, I was very cautious so now we can see that the weekly is showing I its uh, hand and um, it can uh, it can become nasty for Bitcoin if we start a weekly downtrend on Bitcoin it will do something like that which means that there will be many weeks of downside action now on the contrary um, we might uh, fall a little bit down like the money fall a little bit down here and starting to recover so always there are two alternatives and we don't know which is going to happen uh, that's why uh, I don't recommend going short from here although there might be a good case here uh, on the weekly but uh, let's see the daily <coughs> we have to be careful um, have stop losses I think a lot of players were wrecked a lot of traders were wrecked yesterday <coughs> because they did expect that uh, actually we're going to go up from here we're going to recover and do something like that but we didn't that's why um, we need stop losses we need to be cautious trading uh. now on the daily I see a huge decrease of money flow which is uh, very bearish on the other hand we have the daily crossing the 50 uh, line and um, at some point we're going to print a green dot and starting to recover uh, how long could be the recovery is it going to be here is it going to be a bigger recovery we will have to see but um, it's definitely uh, not good for a short and uh, maybe if we see a green dot we can take some some small profit like some small scalp with stop loss 100% now let's see on the 4 hour on the 4 hour there was really a nice divergence here but we continued lower so I, I was uh, indeed uh, watching this and I, I thought that we are going to stop here and start, start to recover but uh, it was pushed down it was obviously pushed down this uh, uh, double blood diamond <sighs> always when we see a snake eyes this is called snake eyes it means two blood diamonds next to each other uh, we have to be very careful and even short because this is really what happened 4 hour is pretty bearish I, I, I want to see first a little bit uh, maybe crossing um, the zero line on the money pole be before taking any action I guess 
because we might um, try to recover here and uh, start to <laughs> dump over like this recover a little bit and then go down even more uh, let's see the other time frames wow huge dump huge dump yesterday and also the stock market took a hit and i think the economy is not doing well and if uh, if this is the start of uh, something bigger on the stock market let's see the four hour on the stock market yeah if we start uh, going down from here might be start of something really nasty for the stock market like this on the daily it's not good also for bitcoin not at all good for bitcoin so we have to also be in sync with the overall um, frame of the market so if the stock market is going down bitcoin will not go up huge money fall nearly re reaching 50 percent on the one hour uh, it seems to be a little bit exhausted to be honest um, I might attempt a so small uh, scalp but it would be very risky and with a very tight stop loss if you do, do that uh, be sure to have very tight stop loss because it might turn around very quickly and I want to see this money fall um, like crossing the, the zero line it's too dangerous I think right now to long it <coughs> on the other time frame the same yeah that's pretty much it I think. let's see the Ichimoku cloud on the daily what is happening because I was hoping uh, for the Ichimoku to keep uh, the cloud to uh, push the price up for the cloud to support because we we had really thick uh, Ichimoku cloud on the daily and I was watching this yesterday and um, I really thought that we are going to get supported by this thick uh, Ichimoku cloud but we didn't and we are breaking it seems that we are breaking the daily cloud uh, which is very bearish uh, probably we are going to consolidate in the cloud which would be um, uh, consolidation with very uh, small price section I would say because we are in the cloud basically if we st uh, right now we are below the cloud if you if we continue this downside action um, this uh, this cloud then will serve as resistance so we will be starting bigger uh, downtrend even I think below 16k if this happens if we break the cloud on the daily I guess we there is a chance that we go below 16k yeah, let's see the other time frames yeah this was a clear break and the 12 hour is not looking good at all not looking good we either have to break this Ichimoku very quickly we will have definitely resistance at 22300 I don't know <sighs> wow on the 6 hour uh, wow yeah we, we started to go down here we were right here and got rejected and immediate dump I don't think we will stay here I think it will recover a little bit to 21 I guess uh, 21k and then maybe get rejected again and continue on the downside it just looks very bearish on the 6 hour uh, I would be cautious to, to have any um, big size of longs if we don't break this cloud this Ishimoku cloud on the 6 hour at least 
yeah that's it um, from my side it uh, looks really bearish and uh, do not kamikaze trade um, right now because it can go lower I think my idea is that uh, it will consolidate a little bit um, we have some sideways actions um, like go to 20.7 uh, reject from there retest 19.6 and then we'll see but this would be at least a few days in the future so take care have a happy friday